Hi. Thanks to attend this presentation, and thanks in advance to the, to um, hold my bad English. Yeah, I'm trying to do the best, but if you uh, do not understand uh, something, please do not hesitate to raise your hand and to ask me again. And I try to repeat in another language <laughs> if it's possible. Okay, then. This presentation is more about a reflection. It's, 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 like a, it's, it's a reflection uh, based on our experience using uh, different tools to create environments for our students. Um, some years ago, I began to, uh, to, to build these environments. Brian suggested me uh, some of the variations, some how useful was this kind of, of approach. And we, Manolo, uh, Manuel Marco and me, uh, start to, to research about how to, to, uh, how to build a more complex environment for our students and uh, what, what are the benefits of the different parts of, this, of those uh, uh, tools uh, of the environment we are using. Then, we, our start point is an assumption that what to see that will improve uh, learning. That, this is a thing we, we believe on, but the question, the, the problem is why, how, when, in what sense? Because, well, we always uh, question ourselves, we always question our work, and we don't feel comfortable, if we don't know exactly the mechanism uh, that occurs in our classroom and why they, why our students, they, they will use uh, and how they will use our uh, robots. Then there are some assumptions uh, included in the previous uh, phrase, the previous sentence I, I, I write. The first one, sorry, is that internet are conversations, but it is a uh, an assumption derived from the, the, the new sense that Web 2.0 has adopted. But are we sure that internet serves for people to communicate with each other? The question is that internet is a very big speaker, of course. We can say whatever we want very high very uh, a lot of uh, for, for a lot of people uh, we think that when we publish a, a thing a phrase or an, or a sentence in the internet everybody in the world uh, will read it but it is not a conversation it is only a monologue this is only a, a one thing uh, one cry if I'm probably in the desert of the crowd then internet is only a conversation if it is an appealing conversation. Then, there is the second assumption. Web to zero has success because our appealing conversations. Then, we will use in education and we will produce an appealing education. The question is sure. The problem with this is that um, how, how we use Web 2.0 proposals in our classrooms. It was the, our first uh, uh, way of doing things. No? First, we built, we noticed that there are a social dynamic around us that produce the need that the people, uh, the, the need for the people to, to chat each other, to converse each other, to, to help each other. Above this social dynamic, we develop some technologies that make possible to reach more people or to reach uh, the people exactly you, you need or you want to access. And finally, those technologies are converted in products, in technologies, in, in applications. We know, for example, that the social uh, web supports like Facebook, Google, Twitter, and so on. And then, as a teacher, we use this, these applications. We 
implement the application in our classrooms, trying to, to find, trying to see what happened with these tools when our students use these tools, and make some adaptations. No, there are only mod little modification because is it, it, it is not possible to modify application like uh, Facebook uh, uh, or Google or even Twitter. We only make some little adaptation, cosmetic adaptations, trying to produce a new learning dynamic. But this is not the way that the things happen. Probably the real approach, and in our experience, we have tested that it, 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 is la, it is how the things happen. From, so if we study how the social dynamic uh, develops, how the social dynamic occurs, then we, try, we can establish some uh, uh, parallelism with uh, our learning dynamics. Then, about these learning dynamics, we can focus our text adaptations, our technical adaptations. We propose how the tools has uh, uh, had to be built. And finally, it is possible to find how applications like the, 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 the general applications like uh, Facebook, Google, and so on, or new applications specifically developed for educational work uh, can, can uh, support this learning dynamic. But the more important is, oh, sorry, that the social dynamic produce learning dynamics, not the use of the technology. The question is that we need to wonder, we need to ask, to, to question ourselves about how people speak each other, how our students speak each other, how our students help each other, how uh, our students learn from each other, how our students teach each other, and teaching and learning is a is a, is a, a, a question that. It is an individual thing because it's your brain. Uh, the, 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 the subject, the, the object who is learning. No? But it is a social product because somebody has built the content, has built the, 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 the topic, or somebody is talking, is chatting you with the contents that you are learning. Then, there are some phenomena, some, phenom some uh, products around this world, for example, the Pium movement, open course, the open content, that are focused in, in this kind of map. No? But specifically, uh, in latest times, had, uh, has appeared uh, a new, uh, new phenomena we are very interested on. It is the personal learning environment. A personal learning environment uh, is about how people search. Uh, a personal learning environment has to be built by the learner, not by the teacher. Because it's about how people, how one, uh, how, how yourself is searching, how yourself is using the information, how the people is arranging information, or how the people uh, communicate each other. Definitively, is a learning uh, to, to build a per or to build the possibility uh, to, to establish the possibility to build a personal learning environment is about how people is learning. Then, personal learning environment. Our concern is to use first a cloud of content around you because uh, you probably find uh, some uh, tools, some uh, mechanisms, some information that completes that you are learning, or uh, simply uh, the, those information, those uh, those topics you find around you, you know, are of your interest, specifically of your interest. You know? But a teacher can build, can be part of this cloud you know, by building a system, an open system. See if 
uh, in the sense that the PL can access in the same way they access to the crowd uh, around, around the, the student, in the same way the, 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 the student access uh, to the cloud is the same way that the student needs to access to the information that the teacher produces. And then, this is exactly that we propose. For example, a teacher can build a cloud of different channels, of different ways to access information. All of them open. For example, a teacher can hold a blog, can use mm, Twitter to say or to, to focus the attention on something, can use multimedia streams like podcasting, like uh, video channels in YouTube, like slide share, for example, or can use uh, more collaborative, more, fo more specific collaborative environments like Google Tool, like Google Docs, or, si or similar. Let me explain this. Or uh, even um, make a sort of port or e portfolio you know, using uh, the shared shells, for example, for example, from the uh, Dropbox. And a wiki, because it is a very well and um, very easy to use content management system. And this specifically is this very interesting a question and answer uh, an answer system. Uh, this is an application you can install uh, to allow your students to make questions each other. Well, the, the, the question is that precisely this one uh, corresponds to uh, one dynamic in our classroom. We probably don't notice when we are exactly in this position in front of the class because we call our students uh, and they will say they, they, they need to shut up if the teacher is speaking. No? <laughs> but when the student, the, 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 the teacher, shut up because the classroom is over, they began to chat each other. They began to question, what did he say? Well, do you understand this topic? They question each other. This is a, a dynamic that exists in our classroom. Uh, let me show you what happened when we install those, all of these things in our classroom and, and uh, uh, install this new feature. Hmm? Then, the teacher can build a mashup. When, uh, two years ago, prior, uh, I knew prior, and I showed you my mashup, I was comfortable on the idea that the mashup was the entry point for my students. But it is not. This is only to show what, how I have a range of the things. But the students using their specific tools, personal tools the student has choose, has skills to use, and so they can access directly. This is only what well, to show off. This is all the things I have done. This is a showcase to say, this is my system, in this part you can find this kind of topics, in that, in that part you can find another, but the mashup is only a showcase. This is. Eventually, I have removed the mashup from my, from my system, and I, now I use the front page of my wiki for the mashup only. And my students find everything, because it is very clear how to use the different points the different parts of it. Actually, they are using because they are embedding uh, in his, uh, in, uh, in here of his page, in a Facebook page, the video. They had to know how to transport information between those systems. It is very, very easy for them. And then, my personal open information system, how it's built. Well, it is based on this real case. I have th uh, officially 390 students. <coughs> In a course we teach, Manuel and me, we teach uh, in called New Technologies for Education. Well, in, in Castilian is Nuevas Tecnologías Aplicadas a la Educación. We use this website to show the students the, the front page, the wiki with the front page, uh, all the resources they can uh, use to, uh, to, well, to, to follow our course. And then, I used the wiki as a front end, 
I use a software called DocuWiki. It is very easy to use for me, uh, for students also, but uh, it is very, 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 very easy to, to, um, to keep uh, updated because it, 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 there is a new version and you know if you publish something in a wiki, it is very important to, to keep yourself from the trolls and so on. No? You need to, to take care of, the, of it. And then the Doku wiki is very easy to handle on the sense. And it has a feature I found very interesting. Um, I'm not sure about uh, to open, fully open my wiki. Actually, my students can write in the wiki. We can, we can write in the wiki, but not public. From outside my classroom can write. They only can read. And how to handle the permission to do this is very easy. To, to, to implement in the local wiki software. Also, the wiki has a lot of plugins like MediaWiki uh, you can install uh, to make different things, to produce a PDF, to produce uh, to, uh, tables, and what well, it's very easy to use, definitely. Then, I use my wiki. I, I used to, to write a blog, but I, I, I noticed that to hold a blog was a very hard thing, a very hard job. Then I removed my previously bl uh, blogger blog and I installed a plugin in the, the, my local wiki to let me to, to write the blog exactly in the way I used. You know? Only to say alerts, only to say announcements, and, and only to say to communicate things, uh, uh, findings I, 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 I do during my education <coughs> period. Then I use a YouTube channel, I use uh, a slash share channel. In YouTube and a slash share, I allow my students to put their productions too. Then not only is open content from for me, from me, it's open content for my students. I use and uh, delicious all the delicious accounts it was a little curious thing because the delicious was in danger. Uh, one, some months ago, no? uh, but anyway, I continue to use the business, it's a really good thing. I use a podcast generator called Open Tape. It is a, a, a very, very fun piece of software I install in my server to uh, support the podcast, a, a podcasting system for my records of my classroom, my teaching classroom. And uh, the question to answer uh, uh, software. No? This question to answer is very, very, very interesting. Uh, the name is this one, question to answer. It's a free software you can install in your system and you can use to motivate your students to have conversation, conversations between them. You will see it in function. Then, all, uh, I, I, also I need to use some information from the LMS from my university. What information is I, I use from the LMS from my university? Information I cannot uh, I cannot uh, offer in public because privacy and, in, and questions about it. In, in Spain, the regulation about data protection is very strong, you know? and then we need to protect some data from uh, of our students by keeping in a closed environment uh, called uh, virtual campus in, of the Alicante University. Well, here, there is the closed information. All of these things are open. And how communicate, how we communicate the different uh, things, each other, using RSS. This is another thing, the power of the RSS, another thing that uh, Brian uh, teach, uh, showed me two years ago. The power of the RSS is, is great no? because you can transport a lot of information. It's not so simple as, as they, they say. Uh, you can transport a lot of information uh, uh, between those, those, those instances. This is a screenshot of the, my, my wiki. No? It is exactly at the moment uh, we finish last course. Uh, next course will start on February. You know? it, it, take, it, longs, it lasts from uh, February to January. You know? And then uh, 
this is uh, uh, um, the, the last post in the in the in the blog embedded in the wiki. As you can say, as you can see, um, the, the, the 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 look and feel of the wiki is very similar to the Wikipedia, because this is a template I put in my top wiki. Because I, I, I thought that my my students are well familiarized with the Wikipedia tool, no? and then I want not to 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 be different uh, of the things they are using. Then, um, for example, this is the uh, administration panel uh, of the Wikipedia of the Doku Wiki. This is very easy to to grade the wiki. Just click here and say yes, 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 yes and everything is done. And, and maybe I can uh, add some features using this link. It is very, very easy to use. Well, my students in my classroom uh, need to uh, present their jobs. They, during a period of time, they make some research about a topic, and then they need, they, uh, I propose them to present the job to the rest of the group. And previously and after presenting uh, their jobs, they publish in the wiki uh, the complementary material, the, the documents, the PowerPoints they are using, the bibliography they are consulted. And then, uh, after finishing their presentation, the rest of the group can take a, another look, another deeper look to the, present, the, the short presentation the student has done. Uh, this is because I, I, the presentation has a limit of time, no? it's a brief period of time, and students, believe it or not, are not very, um, very familiarized with the idea of uh, speaking in public. No? And then, uh, probably they are very nervous. Their material usually is a little bit more quality, has more quality than the presentation. But then, anyway, their stu my students can consult the presentations of their fellows in the classroom. This is the names of the people, the data, they present the, the topic, and so on. If they choose not to, 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 to put their material, the link uh, remains in red state. This is um, um, like an alert thing for me for evaluation purpose. Second, this is, for example, one uh, of the presentation of many students. They make a, a main page with links with the different parts of the presentations, and so on. And my students, uh, for example, uh, they, they, they take notes during my explication or during the explication of their fellows, their, uh, the, the rest of the class. Um, I propose them to publish in the wiki the handnotes they are taking. Some of them um, use the wiki during the class, using their computer, their laptops, uh, by uh, dating uh, at the moment uh, that they are um, uh, looking at class, they are uh, learning at class. Some of them uh, take by handwriting their notes and then after uh, the class, they copy it to the wiki anyway. This, the wiki is very, if, if they learn how to structure the, the different parts of their handouts, the wiki uh, makes a very well index of the presentation. And they, after, after it, this is not a feature uh, this wiki have, but I have implemented the new version of it. After it, they can even press on, on a button here in print, and they produce a PDF, very well format, they can store or they can use for other things, I, I, I don't know. This is the video channel, the video, the YouTube, the YouTube channel I use with some presentation for me and some presentation from uh, the students and the students have used during their expositions and class. This is the slide share, this is, you, you, you know well. This is the podcast generator. This open tape uh, software. Uh, I, I told you this is a very little piece of, of software, but very well built it because you you upload your different uh, MP3, and then uh, it and then it uh, shows the different uh, the different feeds 
in RSS you can download to connect with it and even it is it has a player in Bebet uh, to play or to help the, the teaching class. And this is the question and answer um, software, the most interesting thing. Well, the question and answer software is uh, I, I only uh, prepare the software by writing the different classification, the different topics the students need to explain to explain a class. But after it, they uh, registered by himself and they began to make questions about those topics. And then, for example, this is a uh, question. Um, do you know there is enough uh, TV offer of educational programs for child? There are 10 answers to this question. Well, um, I have three, uh, 389 students officially, but 30% of them, or 30 of them are not active. They are not at class. I don't know why exactly, but they enroll because it's very cheap for them to do this, but they never appear at a class. But then, with this, uh, in my, my active students, 48 of them have published their handouts. I have, at, the, at present, I have 48 views of what happened at the same time at class. It's very curious to compare the different points of view. It's like the, the, the seven samurais picture eh? movie. Eh? I have 100 of them registered in the question and answer system. And 79 are very active. There are 350 questions and 1,149 answers in one and a half months. This is what happened, because the question and answer system was installed in the middle of the course, not at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And then, in one and a half uh, months, occurs the most important thing. They, they began to chat each other. They began to help each other. Because they had to say something. The weekend, the, my week experience, was not uh, the same. They used the wiki, and I thought that they will use the wiki to uh, copy them, to copy each other, uh, and to see what, uh, for example, if I, uh, I have not attended a class, maybe I use another, uh, another page of the another fellow wiki to uh, understand what happened. But they don't use the wiki to do this. Why? My assumption is, they repl re reply in the wiki what happened at class. All is like here, everybody is seated uh, uh, in front of me. They are not confronted. They speak with the teacher, although they are very, very uh, narrow uh, between them. But they don't speak with, the, with them yeah, at class time. They only speak with the teacher. And they write the wiki for me not for them. Second, the weblog, as I told you, I don't use a weblog because uh, my lack of perseverance is, uh, is let me know to uh, write at the pace I need, at the rhythm I need of my students in depth. I embed the blog in the wiki and I use only for uh, alerts or, or advertisements and so on. Using the question and answer system, yes. But why? Well, using a different social networks, it is not possible in Spain. They don't use, well, no, most of them don't use uh, Facebook. They use a specific uh, social network called 20 in Spain. It's, it's like, uh, in Spanish, it's like uh, the number 12, 20, no? but they, they, it is not right in the same way. Uh, but in 20, teacher is an intruder. They don't want to have a friend called teacher. <laughs> they want not. No? And uh, the, the teacher is not supported in 20. It's not supported in Facebook. No? Then it's, it's better to create a specific social network uh, if you need uh, this kind of, of uh, tool. The question and answer question, the, the question and answer experience was great. Why? Because the social dynamic exists at class. They speak each other. 
They speak, they speak each other even during test. No? If, if I know. Uh, but uh, the question is that this, this happened at class. Then it happened in the virtual world. But of course, as the real world, there are a lot of differences between them. There are the students more very, very active, there are students more observers, more monitoring. Okay. So my conclusions. First, try to find the learning dynamics and try to reply them, trying to find the correct tool. The good news. There are tons of free tools to do this. There are lots of them. <laughs> Look specifically when you uh, try to select the correct tool, try to find exactly uh, the, uh, 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 the tool that provides you the better simplification features. Because the student need to access to the, uh, the information you store there. Then you are creating an open information system. You can mash up in different ways. But your students will mash up in the better ways they need. And of course, always look at the open side of the life. Open is good no? because it responsabilizes your students about the, what they are doing. They can't do anything uh, silly because everybody is looking. Thank you. If we have time for question, we have right now scheduled a 15 minute break. Oh. So next session will start in 15 minutes. But if I officially cannot ask anybody to stay, so if you'd like well, to ask an official question, I am here. Question, <laughs> I am just here. If you need okay. more information about what we are using, please don't hesitate to call me, and I will try to answer.